Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So, your girl's been buying some things. So we got some things to talk about. So I'm just gonna be sharing with you some of the makeup that I have either purchased or received in PR. Some of those products I am wearing on my face, so I'll be able to share with you some updates on products or some like very initial thoughts of them. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So I wanted the MAC Face and Body. I've never owned that. Um, I've I've heard it be everybody's holy grail, but mine. So I went today and I picked up Face and Body from the cosmetic company store. That is the Estee Lauder outlet store. And um, I got shade N6. Now this shade is a little too, it's a little too deep for me, just a smidge. So I'll put it on my neck so you can see. This is what the shade looks like. It's a little too deep. Looks a little, almost a little red, but it blends out, right? And I feel like because the formula is a little more sheer, I can make this work. Um, I will be going to the beach a few times this summer. So I feel like this actually will end up working out really nicely, you know, during the summer months. Um, and so I actually put this down as my base today but I wanted a little bit more coverage, so I went on top of it with another foundation. So every, but everything, by the way, that I have on my face and all the products I'm talking about today will be listed down in the description box. So check it out if you have questions about what's on my face, shades, and things like that. I'll try to mention everything, but if I don't, check it out down there. And then if you do shop through my links, I really do appreciate it because it helps to support my channel. Um, and I'm always grateful when you all do support me in that manner. So if you think about supporting me that way, thank you so much in advance. Okay, so I did pick this up today. So I want to see why everybody loves it because I kind of want to love it too, right? And I'm thinking um, if need be, I will go get another shade. But I did pick this up. I'm really excited to try this, play with it, see if I love it like everybody else does, right? Ah, because it's like the summertime coming up. I want to wear my lighter foundations as well. Then I picked up the One Size Turn Up The Base BBB Cream. Yeah, there was three Bs, yeah. Beauty Blur Balm Cream. So I picked up the shade Medium Dark One. I think this shade will work for me. Um, I had on foundation when I went in the store, so we had to swatch my neck. So I'll swatch over here, try and get my hair out the way. So if you're around my, my shade, if you're just interested, well, this looks a little light. Well, maybe, maybe not. I think I can make that work. What y'all think? But yeah, I, I never tried this foundation when it came out. I might be able to make that work. So yeah, I uh, was interested in this because I'm just kind of like interested in all things one size now. I love their um, blush palettes, their one size setting spray. Okay, update on this product. I love this. This is really, really nice. So I talked about this in my last video and I said that one of you all had mentioned to me, it feels like hairspray on the face. It's like really tight. And I said, well, when I used it, it didn't feel like that. But I also said like I had used essentially two other more hydrating setting sprays before I used it. Well, I have used this a few times without setting my face with either of those. My face still doesn't feel tight. And this does prolong my makeup. So I really like this. I will most definitely purchase this in a full size um, when I run out. So update on that if you're interested in it, at least for me, and I have more normal skin, it didn't feel tight. I'm wearing it right now. My skin does not feel tight. Um, like, doesn't feel like that to me. So I like it. I picked up two of the mini clutch eyeshadow palettes. I know, my first YSL palette. I know, I'm so excited. So I got the shades 300 and 400. I've already worn both of them. No, I did not record the looks. I should have and I did not. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible. So this is shade 300. These are so beautiful. Okay, so the shades blend 
effortlessly. Like when I was using these palettes, I was like, this palette, these palettes would be great for people who have mature eyelids because the powders are so soft, but it's also great for just anyone who loves eyeshadow because the shades show up, they're nice and pigmented, they're buildable, the shimmers are really pretty on the eyes. Um, I will try to throw in like little quick um, snippets of the other two videos that I wore these eye looks in so you can see them. So pretty. Highly recommend them and they are available now. Um, I saw them at Harvey Nichols, so I will link them down below. This is, um, this is the palette in shade 400. This is my favorite um, between the two. Just gorgeous. So I'm very excited that my first YSL eyeshadow palettes are a hit. If you want me to do a review on these, please let me know and I will be happy to do that. Or at the very least, I might just do a reel so you can just see them in action, but really very happy to have those. All right, I also picked up, these came in the mail today, the Reformulated Dior Backstage Blushes. I got the shades Mahogany. Now today, the makeup on the face was a bit of a debacle. If you watched my live on the Instagram, then you saw me struggling. If this side of my face looks a little more deep than this side, it is because this shade Mahogany is for me a straight up bronzer there's no blush in sight whatsoever with this shade and what messed me up was i i saw it and i said okay i'm going to use this as a bronzer but i went too far down because i still was thinking like maybe this could just look like a blusher bronzer and it's not a blusher bronzer at all for my complexion it is a bronzer that's it and it really honestly this is almost more so a contour bronzer because this is a it's a bit of like it's a bit cooler cooler like neutral there we go more neutral um so what i did was for my bronzer i put down the Ar the armani luminous silk glow liquid bronzer in the shade deep um, I fixed this area, then I went in with this and just added this shade like right along here and it gave more of like a neutral bronze tone to the face, okay? Here's where I messed up. The brush that I initially picked up this shade with, I forgot that I used it and then I went in with the shade called Cherry and then I started applying Cherry here, but then I realized I still had mahogany on it. So that's why this side looks <laughs> deeper. So then I had to add more mahogany on this side to try to even it out. But you can see Cherry a little better on this side compared to this side. Cherry is really pretty. Um, these shadows, shadows, these shades are definitely not as pigmented as they look in the pan, okay? So like even with mahogany, even though there is pigment there and you can build the pigment, they're not as deep right out of the gate as you would think they would be, um, which for some people might be great and for some people they may not like that. So I was able to build both of these shades to get the intensity that I want, but they're not nearly as pigmented as I thought they would be, just straight out of the packaging, out of the container, out of the packaging. And then the last shade that I picked up was rosewood. I did not apply rosewood on the face, so I will need to, you know, show you all rosewood in action. But I think this will be a really beautiful, like, I don't know what type of blush color to wear type of blush. I feel like that should, this will just be like perfect for any type of look that I might have. Now, I also picked up a couple more shades of the Dior Rouge blushes. So I did already do an initial review. I have that video already up on my YouTube channel. And I had two shades in there. So the other two shades that I wanted were available when I ordered those first two shades. So I picked up one of the holographic blushes from Dior and that's the shimmer that you see like right here, like that sparkly shimmer is this shade here that is called Tutu. How pretty is this? And then I picked up a satin blush in this shade called Charnel. And this shows up really, this shows up actually against my complexion. So, so far I've been 
very happy with the Dior Rouge blushes. Um, I'm still forming my thoughts on these. Stay tuned. Okay, BK Beauty came out with some summertime fine shades of their Lux Liquid Lipsticks. They sent me all six shades. I am wearing, hmm, got lipstick on my teeth. I'm wearing the shade Gratitude, which is like a purplish shade um, all over my lips. And then I put the shade Beauty right here in the middle. You're already watching them being swatched on my lips. These shades are beautiful. The shade Empower, the orange shade, like, was made for me. It's so vibrant, so pretty. The formulation is so good. Very so soothing and hydrating. I swatched all six on my lips when I was creating that Reels. And when I got to the last shade, my lips did not feel cracked, ready to just walk away from me because the formulation is hydrating. So I would recommend these. I do have a 10% discount code with BK Beauty. It's not affiliated. Um, the discount code is not. But if you are interested in trying them, I would recommend them. And then they also have five more neutral, like really neutral toned shades. So if the vi more vibrant, brighter shades are not for you, but you want to try their formulation in like a kind of muted tone, check out the original five shades. I think you might find a shade there that you might like. I'm doing a video. I'm wondering if I should tell y'all. I don't want to tell y'all because I want y'all to be surprised. But I'm doing a video and for that video, I needed to pick up a couple of products. So I'm not going to tell you what the video is. I can't wait though. I'm just waiting on a couple more products to come and then I can do my video. It's going to be a fun one. Um, but for the video, I picked up, well actually I requested from Bobbi Brown their crushed lip color in the shade Rich Cocoa. It is trending. I'm not gonna tell you why it's trending because then you'll guess the video. But if you know why it's trending, then you might be able to guess what video I'm gonna do. Um, but this is the lipstick in Rich Cocoa. And so um, I will be using this in a future video. And then I picked up, I need to pick up another Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Espresso. I usually, the first shade I had was Truffle. So I got the shade Espresso. Um, this time around so stay tuned for that video I cannot wait um so yes that's why I got those products that's for a particular video then uh, okay so here's another product that's like trending all over TikTok um, and I'm late to it okay but the Trader Joe's Brazil nut body butter so this is limited edition, it's seasonal. So the Trader Joe's that I went to, they're already sold out of the body scrub. And I was like, are you kidding me? She was like, yes, it's seasonal. So they're not gonna come out with the body scrub until last year, uh, not last year, next year. So she was like, maybe check another Trader Joe's. Um, but they had a ton of the body butter in stock. I have not tried the body butter yet, but I have a feeling I'll be going back to Trader Joe's tomorrow to get some more. They actually, this, this is how you know it's trending. They put on the display five body butter limit max, right? Ooh, it smells like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. OMG, I've been saying OMG a lot. Sorry guys if it's annoying. Okay, so let's try it. Okay. This is a nice, this smells like almost identical to the Boom Boom Cream. It is a nice soft body butter, not too thick, uh, which I really do like. Like I don't mind a thick body butter, but I don't like the ones that are so thick that you're like, you know, like trying to warm it up so it'll move. It's not overly thick like that, but it's, oh, this is nice and soft. $5.99, the Boom Boom Cream is $45. Your girl is going back tomorrow. As, as we'll be going back tomorrow and get like four more. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm really glad I got this because this smells great. And it feels great too. And it's freaking five, six dollars. Like, where'd I do that at? Okay, another thing that I saw on TikTok. Y'all don't even really be on TikTok like that, except for when I post my content. But I saw this a while ago. And um, I just, 
I don't really go to Trader Joe's like that. So that's why it took me a minute to pick this up. But it was a video that this lady posted and she was like, um, 20 best products for under $20 or something like that. I just spent so much time getting this packaging off. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, yes, yeah, she was right. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the reason why I wanted this was because she said it made you smell like you were in a spa. So this is the Trader Joe's Lemongrass Coconut Body Oil with almond and jojoba oils. It's a gentle, light, and aromatic moisturizing type of body oil that will moisturize the skin without being greasy. No animal testing. And they were right. This smells, this smells like a spa, like I'm about to get a facial. Oh, this smells so good. $3.99. Like, did everybody know about this? But me? Trader Joe's? in their body care oh i was like yes I, I will yes be trying though i like the good body oil too so those were my skincare product purchases for this haul and then um oh a couple products by sydney grace so they did a collaboration with um glitzy fritzy and she came up with a eyeshadow palette called blessed this launches on june the 7th i believe so here's what her eyeshadow palette looks like. It's so pretty, isn't it? I really enjoy this color story. And um, I believe that she's coming, that she came out with a light and a deep version. This is the light version of the palette right here. So I can't wait to use it. These, these shades look really, really pretty. So yes, congratulations to Mary. And you know, Cindy Grace's eyeshadow formula, there's no question if the palette is good. Not a question at all. I know the formula is great, so I'm very excited to have this one. And then, remember their Luminous Light Face Palette? They sent me the shade uh, Deep. So I wanted the shade Medium, because the shade Deep, I can make it work, but like the tones are very rich. So they sent me the shade Medium. This works so much better. So if you were interested in their Luminous Light Face Palette, if you're around my complexion, shade medium, all the shades work really beautiful. I've used this palette before. This is a really beautiful palette, great to travel with. Once again, formula is amazing. Tones are very pigmented, so you don't have to worry about lack of pigmentation there. Um, so yes, thank you to Sydney Grace for sending over those goodies. Definitely check them out because they're really, really good too. Then Pixie sent over a couple of products and I was like, I'm kind of shocked by this. So this is the On The Glow Bronze, the Tinted Moisture Stick, and this is the shade Rich Glow. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is a like radiant bronzer and I put it on and this looks so pretty on the skin. So if you don't mind a warm bronze and um, you don't mind like a slight just slight radiance to it, definitely check these out. I put this on and I was like, oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This shade here kind of reminds me of a cream version of Pat McGrath's bronzer and Burnished Honey. Like that's the tone of that bronzer. So I was like, okay, Pixie. So yeah, I really, I haven't worn it all day, so I can't tell you how long it lasts on the skin. Um. So I'll report back because I am going to be wearing these to, you know, see how long they last. But in terms of just blending it into the skin, it blends out really nicely. And you can build upon it and it builds in the pigmentation too. So it's a really nice formula. They sent me another shade called Warm Glow. This one I actually thought was a blush. And then I realized like, oh no, it's a bronzer. It's just really light. So this doesn't, this is um Warm Glow. So this is not... A, you know a bronzer shade that I'll wear for bronzer. I put it on to see how it would look as a blush And it also doesn't really look good as a blush either not against my complexion So can't really do much with this one But if you were interested in these then rich glow works for me And it will work for you too if you're around my complexion Fragrances, okay? Your girl's been buying fragrances. All right, so I'm gonna try to get through these so I'm not it's not too long. So my newest fragrance to my collection is by this brand called Alexander J. Did I say your name right? Yes, Alexander J. Um, first of all, look at this packaging. Someone said it looks like a mini coffin and I was like, I would have to agree, but very beautiful packaging. 
Um, this was a recommendation by the creator called The Scent Lady. I think that's their name. Here is the packaging of the product. So this is the fragrance in, this is the fragrance called Morning Musk, okay? I'm gonna throw up notes because I'm not good at recalling notes. But the way that she described this fragrance, I was like, I just feel like I need this. And when I smelled it, oh, this smells divine. So this smells like, oh wait, I got notes, okay? So there are six fragrances that were created in this collection. It's called The Collector, The Creative Edition. It's a floral musky fragrance, perfect definition. So top notes are mandarin, grapefruit, peach, and toffee. Heart notes are Russian rose, Turkish rose, patchouli, and violet. And then base notes are musk and moss. Y'all, so beautiful. It's a very fresh, fruity floral. And I typically don't like all the fresh fragrances, but when it's done right, I can really enjoy it. So this is perfect for daytime wear. Um, kind of like makes you feel like you're fresh out of the shower, but then you're walking through flowers, eating like a really sweet piece of fruit. Fresh, fruity, floral. It lasts pretty well throughout the day too. It's not overbearing at all. Like I've worn this to work. Um, and it's just beautiful. Like definitely check it out. I got this from, I wanna say fragrance.net. It was under a hundred dollars. I was looking at the other fragrances too. Like, do I need the other ones too? Cause like they sound like they are, they would smell really good. Um, another one, okay. Tom Ford's effing fabulous. So I was in Nordstrom and I saw the black packaging. I mean, I've seen this before plenty of times, but I looked at the black packaging and was like, that's gonna be a more masculine scent. I'm not gonna like it. So I never smelled it. Well, I don't know, something that made me wanna smell it that day. And I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Like the name effing fabulous suits this fragrance perfectly. I never thought leather could be done in such a beautiful type of way. And it is, right? So this fragrance is quite expensive, hence why I purchased the travel size. Um, I was also very impatient and I just wanted it right away. So I got this travel size. And I also was like, you know, if I run through this, then at least I know it's gonna be worth me purchasing the larger size because I ran through this. All right, but in the process of me trying to decide do I want to purchase this? Do I want to go for the full size? Do I, like, what do I want to do? Then I thought to myself, well, let me see if Dossier has a version. And they do for $49. And y'all know my love affair with Dossier. I'm actually, uh, I actually purchased this one myself. I did not get this uh, sent to me for free. And I was like, let me see. Cause if I like Dossier's version, I'm going to love, well, I already knew I was going to love the fragrance that smelled it. But I was like, this can hold me over until I'm ready to take the plunge. Cause I think the 1.7 ounce is like 345. Like she's not cheap at all, okay? Absolutely love Dossier's version. So it's called Ambery Sage. The top notes are bitter almond, sage, and lavender. The middle notes are leathery notes, orris, and vanilla. And then the base notes are amber, blonde woods, and tonka bean. Like when Reading these notes, if you would just read these notes to me, I'd be like, I'm not gonna like that. Y'all, this smells identical, like identical to Tom Ford's effing fabulous. It's like, you know, if if ever you've tried Dossier's fragrances, you know they just do like a like a hair of a flare difference, but if you didn't know, you would not know, right? So I love this. So this, I've been wearing both of them, but like now I can like conserve the original fragrance and I can wear Dossier's version and kind of, you know, blow through this a little faster versus blowing through my effing fabulous. This smells so good, y'all. Oh, I was so happy, so happy. So very happy to have both of those. These are going to be fragrances. Now I have worn these during the day because I just like it that much, but they are a little heavier, right? So these would be great for the evening. Um, sexy, sexy. 
types of vibes, okay? Like this is the type of fragrance where you put it on, you're like, I got an agenda for the night. Now, whatever your agenda is, I'm gonna let that be your business. But like, this is not one to be worn if you're just like, I just don't wanna be seen, heard, no, 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 no. I mean, the name says it all, okay? So let's just leave it there, okay? Okay, all right, another fragrance that, um, this is not new to me, actually. This is old. When I say old, like, I've had this one for a while, but I just kind of felt, oh, this was a favorite of mine. I forgot to talk about it. Um, I technically should have put this in my favorites video, and I forgot, so I'm just gonna talk about it here. <laughs> so it's a favorite, but, like, I purchased this, wore it once, and then, like, really just didn't wear it anymore because I kind of didn't like it. And then I picked it up recently and I was like, God, I really love this. So it's kind of new to me because I didn't really like it before and now I do like it. This is the Ellie Saab Le, Le Parfum. And this, <sighs> so when I first smelled it, I was like, this is nice. Like this is a really pretty floral daytime scent, like perfect for the office. It also is, reminds me of like wedding vibes. Like if I'm going to a guest, like I'm going to a wedding as a guest, I could see a bride wearing this. I could also see you wearing this to like a formal event. Like it's really pretty soft, like I think very elegant. Oh yes, very elegant smelling, right? So when I first smelled it, I was like, does this smell like a little too mature for my liking? And that's why I kind of set it to the side. But this has a very elegant, classy sophisticated scent to it and for those reasons like i am loving it so like i've used i mean it doesn't look like i've used a lot but i've i feel like i've used a lot <laughs> for the short amount of time that i've been using it um i recently traveled with it and this was what i wanted to wear i bought a few different fragrances with me and i, I definitely wore this while i was away so it's just so elegant and pretty and like just sophisticated, like so, so, so pretty. So that was like low key of favorites that we're just gonna throw in here. Um, and then a new fragrance, it's technically not new. Like I brought it recently. I bought it back in April, but I forgot to talk about it in my April favorites. And then I also forgot to talk about it in my May favorites. So we're gonna throw it in here. Cause I haven't talked about it here on my channel. I don't think I have. Venetia Ney, 1,000 Miles. Is that 100 Silent Ways? Lord, I got that name all wrong. This fragrance is so good. So this was a recommendation from Jackie Ina, and it's, it's such a unique scent. I really enjoy it. This is a scent that I will wear day or night because it's like right there in the middle. It's not too heavy for the day, but it's very appropriate for evening wear. Some might say that this is more of an evening scent for their taste. And it it just, it's it does not smell like anything that I already own, which I really like because I have a nice size fragrance collection. So, I like that this doesn't smell like anything that I already own. And it's beautiful, really beautiful. I'm trying to, let me spray so I can give you like a sense of how it makes me feel. It just smells rich. I know that doesn't give you anything, but like when I smelled it, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, this smells like money. Like if someone walked past me and I didn't see them, but I smelled them and they were wearing this, I'd be like, hmm, they must got some money. It's just, smells like money to me. Okay, and then lastly, the last fragrance that I picked up was by Brown Girl Jane. This is the scent called Dawn. So I got a discovery set um, and I shared the discovery set with you all, I think in my April favorites. And I think I told you all then I was running low on the shade Dawn. I ran out of Dawn, so I picked up the full size and this one is beautiful. So the name Dawn describes how you should use it. So you should use it in the day. It is a very beautiful, beautiful floral scent. Does not smell like anything you might own. Like it's such a unique scent. And I remember saying when I was talking about the discovery set, that's why I love this brown, brown girl Jane, especially the dawn, dusk and the dare scents. They do not smell like anything that I have smelled before. Now, 
Granted, I haven't spilled every fragrance out there, but their scents are very unique. So they're not just kind of regular schmegular. They take you on a journey. Like Dawn wakes you up, travels with you throughout the day. And like you go on a really beautiful, soft, but very present scent journey. And it is beautiful. Um, I still have Dusk and Dare, but when I run out of those, I will be purchasing those in the full size. I have the original three shades from, um, shades, fragrances from Brown Girl, Brown Girl Jane. So I highly recommend their fragrances. This one lasts on me about, I would say about five, six hours. So it's not the most long lasting fragrance, um, but it lasts enough for me to enjoy it. And I think it's really beautiful. The Nisha Nay does last on me all day, like all day long. And so does the Ellie Sop. It lasts all day. And then Dossier and Tom Ford all day, all night. Um, so that's my makeup haul slash a little bit of favorites because <laughs> I forgot them. Let me know down below what are some of the new products that you've picked up recently, whether it be beauty, fragrance, or just anything that you've picked up recently and you're like, hey, I want to share it. Leave all that down below. Let me know if you like any of these products that I am sharing with you. Um, and tell me if you can guess what I might be using these products for, for the video that I want to tell you about. Because if y'all guess it in the comment section, I will confirm it. I just want to know if y'all gonna guess it. Yes, can't wait. But anywho, leave all that down in the comment section below. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.